Science Exchange started from my experience as an academic researcher. Basically I needed access to specialised equipment and expertise that wasn't available within my own lab. And this is something that's increasingly common with multidisciplinary research that requires researchers to work in teams. And so the idea for Science Exchange was to create a marketplace where researchers could basically exchange their services and their resources through one central platform. The, the idea really borrows a lot from marketplaces you see in other contexts. So, you know, some of the things we looked at were Odesk or Elance or 99designs, where it's really easy if you've got a web design or a logo design or a business card sort of template that you want to get done. And can we apply that same sort of dynamic to the field of science? We met Ryan Abbott, who's our technical co-founder, um, and the three of us came up with the basic business outline um, wrote an application for Y Combinator, which is a startup accelerator program, and applied just with the basis of the idea. It was really that sort of that moment of, you know, we had an idea and it seemed to be something pretty compelling, and then realizing that, you know, we had $170,000 and three months, and it was like, oh shit, we've really got to do this. So, you know, the three of us were all living in South Florida. We had to move out to California and you start you know getting surrounding yourself in this startup ecosystem and but you have a lot of stuff you have got to get done so we're here at stanford university we're at the heart of silicon valley really and we're you know downtown palo alto and mountain view and menlo park uh, just around the corner and these are the the homes of facebook and google and yahoo and and all of the sort of even the older titans of of technologies um, and there's something about that that makes it just easier to get businesses off the ground. So, so the business model for Science Exchange is like most marketplaces, we're bringing people together and part of that involves payment between the two of them and as a middleman we take a, a transactional fee as part of that which depends on the size of the transaction. So similar to selling something on eBay or you know, booking a room on Airbnb, you know, we're, we're a middleman, we take a, a percentage based fee. Y Combinator obviously has this big ecosystem of startups and it has a lot of connections with all of the venture capital. Um, so you kind of come in already as part of the Silicon Valley network. I think in general though, Silicon Valley is a very welcoming environment. So um, you know, it's, it's a sort of place where you know, people don't really you know, ask where you're from they kind of ask what you're working on because what they're really interested in is, is what your ideas are and how well you're sort of executing against them. So you see you know, just people from all around the world here and it's a real level playing field. You know, people achieve things here because of their ideas more so than sort of where they went to school or, or other sort of things. So it's, it's really, I think, a meritocracy and that makes it great for, for Kiwis or anyone who wants to come here. And if you can, you can come in and make you know, that first couple of connections, then really there's nothing holding you back. Um, we have some great investors who have supported us so far, including Andreessen Horowitz and SV Angel and a lot of really top tier angel investors in Silicon Valley. And what we really sold them on was you know, the strength of the team. So we have a you know, founding team which has a lot of uh, aspects covered. So Elizabeth as the scientist, as the domain expert, myself with the business background, Ryan as a strong technical co-founder, sort of a nice balance between the three of us. So we hope that Science Exchange could really change the world because we think that by establishing these collaborative teams, that's really how science moves forward. So we hope that we're kind of democratizing access to all of the best technologies and all of the best experts that are available for scientific research and that will really accelerate discoveries and also it will improve the efficiency by reducing costs of being able to obtain these types of experiments that um, for many researchers are currently out of their reach. Scientific research is a massive area. A lot of countries spend you know, one to two percent of GDP on innovation and research in this way. Uh, so there's a lot being spent and we think that what Science Exchange can do is offer opportunities to make it more efficient. Um, so when you start to talk about you know, billions and billions, hundreds of billions of dollars being spent in scientific research, um, more specialization, so the need for something like Science Exchange is increasing, but a marketplace doesn't exist, some VCs can see a big opportunity there.